Hello ladies and gentlemen and good evening to the next iPay-Per-View of RFPW The Valkenberg Deception Tonight we're here of course in Valkenberg in the RFPW Arena And we are here to welcome some great matches tonight And I am ready and so I hope you are too Next up the first match will be Hiroshi Tanahashi new on the roster versus Chris Knight. Let's see how that will turn out to be. Whoa. Look at this. I like oh wow. I like the music though. So Roshi Tanahashi and we're here live on iPay-Per-View on Hitbox.tv slash The Raging Falcon. Or if you're not watching this live, you're most likely watching this on the RFPW Network. We've seen a staggering grow in views. Thank you very much. Keep it up. As next Sunday already, we will have the next iPay-Per-View RFPW Destination Unknown. As it rushes ready for battle. Tonight we've also got the Women's Championship. The Women's Tag Team Championship, the European title and the RPW Championship on the line. That is next to some other matches. So we hope you will be enjoying tonight. And I hope we will have some good fun. And here is his opponent. Chris Knight. Got some promotional t shirt don't I see? Good, let's see Chris Knight versus Hiroshi Tanahashi here in action tonight. The first match of the Valkenberg Deception. Are you ready? Because I am. Let's go for this. And let's have some good fun here tonight. The bell has rung and we're on the way for this first match up here tonight. Let's hope they will be good ones. Oh man. Oh he's gonna pull the lag. Oh Oh man. Oh man, come on. He's working the legs. So that will be a strategy tonight to work on body parts. You've got to Hiroshina Kanarin on the first action. Oh nice, drop toe hold. Now pulling him up and calling him down what you want to have Now Chris Knight. Oh man. Nice lead on. Could have known, you could have known. 
But this was going to happen in Roshi now. Working on it. Definitely doing well right now. He's doing great so far. But can he keep it up? That's going to be a really good question. It's what I will be wondering here tonight. Can he keep that up? Because if not, it's going to be a very hard night for both of these guys. Oh no, here's Chris Knight. Look at that, what is he going to do? Oh, nice back body drop. Now what? Chris Knight, spotting buster. He's going for the cover. Too bad. The rushy says no. And thus the match goes on. Oh no! Oh, wow! Look at it! Submission move in effect! Can Chris Knight get to the ropes? He's fairly close to them. Yes, and he does. And he's got the figure four in effect. The figure four. Will the Roshi tap out to the figure four leg lock? And it turns it around. Oh no, what is he gonna do? Oh man, Roshi, no, counter by Chris Knight. Oh, misses it. Roshi, oh! Pull through! Two! Nearly two and a half. Oh. Oh no, here we go. This might be it. Two. Russia kicks out once again. The oldest guy in the roster so far. 38 years old. Oh no. Oh man. Harsh impact. He's got to be out. Oh man. He's got the end knocked straight out of him. He's got to be out. Two. And he kicks out. How does he do that? Oh, Chris Knight fairly misses it a bit there.
Oh, gets out once again. And Rush is doing very well here. Cause tonight I pay per view only the main roster on the line that will be different at Destination Unknown where we will mix the main roster with the juniors up. Oh no, he's getting it through again. One, two, three, that's it. Chris Knight wins it. Next up will be the RFW Women's Championship. Dirty Erico defends in a triple threat match against Mia Jenkins and Melanie Gray. Of course, senior referee Jessica Tonda supervising the bout. And she's the first to come out. Also, a former RFW Women's Champion, so she knows what she's refereeing here tonight. Let's hope we're going to have good fair and square match because we know she hasn't always done that but let's hope she will do it here tonight And here she is, the women's champion. It's Dirty Erico. Yes, Dirty Erico. And of course, I know you want to know the nitty gritty of the championship history. And we will take you back to RFPW Heatwave that was hosted. And I will give you the exact same amount of what you want to know. Last Friday, RFPW Heatwave, where Dirty Erico defeated one of the contenders here, Melanie Gray, for the title. She's with a rematch with the champion before her, Mia Jenkins, also in there. Since they both only had the title for three days, they will get a rematch from the general manager. Let's light it up! Melanie Gray, here she is, former champion. She gained in that wildfire, defeating Mia Jenkins. We will see just after this. The woman from Germany is ready. But here she is. The new generation has arrived indeed. Here she is, former women's champion, Mia Jenkins. The disco party has begun. Raven Mia is here. Somebody call her mama because she's ready to run loose tonight on the RFPW Women's Championship once again. Funky's gonna roll. And here it is, the women's title is on the line. Dirty Erico, Melanie Gray, Mia Jenkins. Battle is wrong and we're on the way.
Oh! Nicely done! No! Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Dirty Erico being double teamed here. Oh, oh my goodness, this is a mission move. I didn't look for a second. And there it was. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, doesn't look good. Oh man, that was very close. Oh man, doesn't look too good, does it? Oh, here we go. Cover me and Jenkins, Melanie Gray, of course. Break wanted to break up but of course already done oh man oh here we go double team DDT on Mia Jenkins Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm really underprepared as to what's going on here tonight. Because... Oh, man. Looks painful. Oh! Oh, here we go! Tumble!
Ah. Oh, look at this torture rack, torture rack. Will this be it? Mia Jenkins. No dirty Erica breaks up. Oh, man. Oh no! Oh! Oh man! One! Just one count! But damn! This women's championship match is crazy! Oh damn. Now, again in the double team. DDT on Mia Jenkins. She's knocked out cold. Melanie Gray going for the cover. Dirty Erico, the current champion, breaks it up. Oh! This doesn't look good. Take down. Cover. Two count. Good, and we're still on the way, Mia Jenkins. Oh, what a choke slam. Melanie Gray trying to profit here from Mia Jenkins doesn't work. Oh, this might be it. Mia Jenkins, let's do the Erica tap out. And she's the new champion. Look at this. She's a two-time women's champion. Mia Jenkins. Congratulations. Somebody call her mama and tell she's two-time women's champion. Because she is. Let's hope she can cling on to that longer than three days last time. But most definitely she will. Because until the next event. It's Sunday. That will mean... She will have at least another five days with the title. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Alex Might. That is the next match. Alex Might, the freak, as we call him. Let's hope he doesn't freak me out once again, like he always does. But here he is, Zack Sabre Jr. One of the highlights on the scene. But it can be quite cocky, so let's hope that doesn't break him up.
Oh. Oh man, here he is. He's a freak. Oh, please go away. Please. Don't look at me. Don't look at the cameras because I'm seeing that on my screen. Please go away. And lose this match, please. Can't, I can't stand you. This weird Australian. He comes from down south. Why should, did he, why should he have come here? Why should he have come to Europe? Can we send this guy back? Please, oh. Don't you dare to look. Oh man, you looked. Ding ding ding, here we go! Oh, he's in the corner! Good! Go, Zack Sabre Jr. Let's keep it going! Keep him down. No, 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 no. Oh man, oh man. In the corner, no, Zack Sabre Jr. is in the corner, that's not any good. Oh, Tornado DDT. Oh man. Oh, Zack Sabre Jr's got him in a hold. What can he do with his arm lock? Can't do nothing with it. On in the apron. Oh no, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Yeah, stomped hard on the apron. Good job. Oh no! Oh man! I thought Zack Sabre Jr. had it! But Alex Mike does. He's the winner of this contest. Even though I don't like it, congratulations on the win. You deserved it well. After taking such a hit on the apron. Next up will be the tag team action. Katie Mays and Anark Anderson defend their women's tag team titles against Oza Neumann and St. Hogberg. I'm already on the way. Here she is, former basketball player 
Katy Mays, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. Here she is, the counterpart to Katy Mace, Tanaka Anderson. She's the one that keeps the emotions in. And she tries to go for it every, each and every time she comes out here. Whether she wins or lose, it depends on whether she has tried to deliver it at least. And whether her knight has succeeded. But let's see which part they will be able to retain tonight. Is here is... Another German player in the women's division from Koblenz, Germany, Ursula Neumann. And Ursula Neumann came very close to once being the Glamazon champion, but had to lose out in the match to other competitors. Celine, what are you doing? This is not you. Why are you skidding around and jumping? Oh man, she's from Aachen, Germany, so the German team strikes again maybe tonight. We'll have to see, but if this is going to be the same thing we've talked about this with Noam Dar, not very serious, and I don't think that might be it if they're going to start this way off, especially Celine. Here they are. Oh, well, okay, that's kind of unfair to Anderson if Maze only has the names written on the titles. Hmm, somebody's got the influence there. Ursula Ursula starts off
Nice monkey flip. Oh, no. oh la look at that. Loot has prayers. Something I wouldn't expect from Hogberg. Oh, nice drop kick. She's gained some ground. She's gained some aerial ground. Oh. Here we go! Oh, now we're going at it! Going at it with four people! Oh, what an eye rake! Now, Anderson is normally not that mean. But for to defend your title, you've got to do it. Oh no! Tag! Neumann is in! Oh, no, he's hammering down. Anderson! No! Catty Mays counters! Saves the day for now. Oh no! Completely missed by Catty Mays as Ursula, Ursula Neumann takes over. Ursula. What are we talking about? She's German, she's not English, is she? Close, 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 cover by Katy Mays. Oh man, ball in tonight. One, two, three. Mays and Anderson retain. What a good championship match that was. Next up is the European Championship on the line. Max Damon defends against Danny Felena. Whoa. Oh, here he is. Relaxing Asian sounds here tonight. But it is certainly for the European Championship.
don't know whether this will be good. Bam bam! Bam bam! Oh, this sounds more like it. It's Danny Valena. One of the two protégés by current juniors champion Jeffrey. Next to Troy McQueeners is Danny Valena, of course, has surpassed the age limit of the juniors division, therefore is on the main roster. That doesn't mean he's got the very much experience though, but he's gonna try and keep it going. This is going to be one hell of a title matchup, I can tell you that, because I've been looking forward to this from the very start. Might likely even more than the RPW Championship match. Because what would it be if all, both of the protégés of Jeffrey would win a title? We've seen Troy McQueen do it before, the Dutch title. Can Valena add to that with the European title? That will be the most successful wrestler, owner and trainer in any wrestling company around the world ever. I'm sure of that. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh man! It's like that, and that's the way it is. Huh? Oh no! Oh! Harsh takedown. Danny Valena is really waiting too much. Oh, man. Oh, man. Will this be it for Max Damon goes to the cover? Three, that's it. Let's take a look at the highlights here. 
That took me a little bit by a surprise. I would not have thought it would have ended there, but it has. Max Damon retains and does Danny Valena. Misses out on his shot. Next up, before the RFW title match, is Jaheim the Angel taking on Hideo Kojima, former Dutch champion. This is going to be very, very interesting. Just take a look at it, it's got the entrance. I'm just not going to say nothing. Just go and watch. Just look at that, isn't it amazing? But here is the day of Kojima rise. Oh, his face. Remember when he just came in and became the Dutch champion from John Morrison, taking it over in that ladder match. It was pathetic. He should have never been a champion and now he's on the roster. Why? Why is this guy not been fired yet? Hope James does something about it. Oh man, here we go. The Kojima. He's, he looks so tiny in size, at least in width, but also in length than, than, than Jaheim is.
Oh, oh man, look at that. Do you see that? Oh. Daya Kojima. Oh. Oh man. Uh uh what? What? <laughs> Wow! Look at that! Awesome! Nice punch! Great effort! By but Hideo Kojima's gotta finish it! It's got him in the stretch! How unbelievable is this? What would it mean if if Jaim would tap out here? That would be so real! But he doesn't! That's one good thing here tonight! That's one good thing here tonight. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on. I've got to favor the little guy here. Oh, oh, he's got a testicular claw. Ouch. Yes, that's got to hurt your balls. It's got to hurt your balls. Oh, he's sort of going to do a swing. What? Is that physically possible? Are you kidding me? Oh, take down, take down. Here we go. Two, flip over. Oh, very close. Well tried, Jaim. We nearly got bluffed over. You nearly got outsmarted. Too bad. Oh no, tombstone pile driver. But that's not it? Are you kidding me? Oh! oh. Do you have to do that? And even on the top rope, why are you not done yet? The frog splash. It's going for the cover, you've got to go for the cover now. If you don't do it, you're going to be very, very sorry. And I think it's been too long. He waited too long. He should have done it after the pile driver. Oh, he's got the sleep hold. Sleep hold in effect. That's it. That's it. Jaheen wins. Congratulations, Jaheen. You did try it though. But, did it work? Jaheem is your winner. And now for the main event of RPW The Valkyrie Deception. Defending champion Emil Sitochi takes on the debuting Joel Rettman. How about that? And here he is, the defending champion, tremendous Emil Sitoche.
Oh, nicely done. Really? Really? Come on, Sidochi, we know you can do that faster. Please make sure you do so. Thank you. Yes? How ready are you? Do you feel ready? Are you ready? I damn well hope you are. But here is his opponent, the debuting Joel Redman. Look at this guy's physique. It's abnormal. He's been in developmental territories of the biggest company around the world and now he's with us. How about that? Joel Redman, the one and only Joel Redman, is here. Oh wow. He's gone back. How nice is this? Joel Redman in his debut gets a shot at the RFPW title. Of course, there's been people who've done it before. Take a look at Giovanni, but this, when nearly a year later, the competition has been built up so nicely, so tremendously, in Satoshi's words, that this is way more out there than it was before. This is gonna be amazing. I gonna, I'm gonna give you that as gonna be amazing. You will be amazed. Prepare to be amazed. Ding 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 ding. Here we go. Yes. Oh, nice hip toss by Joel Ripman. Just look at his physique. It's amazing. It looks proportionally perfect. And that's it touches bad, but Redmond is just perfect. This guy has been pumped up to the maximum. He's gonna go over with the guys for his physique as well as for his beauty with the women. There's no doubt that this is gonna be an all round and just like she thought she was. But just by debuting here he's gonna overclass it thought she already can just hear the crowd going for him. Oh, cover! Just a one, but still. First cover for Joel Rittman in RFPW history. Those are milestones. Oh, man. Can it? It's a touch in the corner. That's going to be a very dangerous area. Whipped into the other one. Gets drop kicked. And gets drop kicked once again, I would say, but doesn't happen. Neck break now by Zitochi. Don't blink because you're gonna miss some of the action. On the apron goes Zitochi. Gets back dragged in. Oh man. Oh, it dumped hard. Ein, zwei, drei. In die Ecke. That's what our neighbors in Germany would say. One, two, three in the corner. Oh, t -n -a -d -d -t. Lovely. Neck breaker. Perfect. Oh, nice, nice power slam.
You want to know how this is going to end? We're on the way. This is so awesome. I never thought we would see the living daylight. Of Joe Rickman here in RFW. But it has happened. But can he beat Hitachi? No one. Hitachi has been a former four-time RFW champion. Equaling after his fourth title win with Jeffrey's Reigns. But can he keep it up? He's the longest reigning champion. And when it comes to days, it is Emil Sitochi. But can he cling on it for at least until Sunday, until Destination Unknown. Destination Unknown, where six guys, including the Juniors Champion Jeffrey, will square off. If Jeffrey doesn't win that match, he will have to face two competitors, the winner of the Elimination Chamber and the Wild Card from that same very match in a triple threat match for the Juniors Championship. But also, the RFPW Championship will be on the line once again. Who will be the champion then? And who will be the opponent? Neckbreaker by Zatochi. Beautifully done. Oh, but his touch is really clever, but gets hip tossed. He's taken down and gets put down each and every time. But he doesn't floor Rittman. He's going to give him punches and everything. But he has to floor him. And as long as he doesn't do that, he's going to be the one put down. So he's got to make sure that he gets Rittman down. Just like now, this is a good opportunity shot. Needs to keep him down, but Redman gets up already. Good drop kick. Keep him down. That's got to be the strategy for Satoshi. For Redman, he's been upperclassing Satoshi in this match. And just, it might not be very long until he gets that RPW Championship in his hands as the winner. So he thought she still has to do something. Oh, there we go. Great. He's going for the cover. Two. Of course, it's not going to be enough for Redman to keep him down. On the apron. So Tochi raiding really too long. Oh, no. Don't do it. Oh, man. Taken out. Satoshi celebrating, but that was brutal. But Redman is already up. He looks like an animal. What a superb human being. We're standing that and just getting on for two seconds. Amazing. Just just purely amazing. Cannot put it any differently than that. Oh man. Oh no, no. Oh god, no. This is not gonna be very well. Oh man. But really. Redman has been dominant in this matchup. And I cannot figure out any weaknesses so far. He's dropped a few balls here and there, but Satoshi's done that more. So I wonder how long Satoshi can hold out for. Oh, hip toss by Satoshi now. This is what we talked about. He's got to floor him, and he's got to keep him floored. Oh no, here we go. Oh man, what a drop. It's got to go for the cover there. It's got to be it. Will Ratman win it? No. He's dropped the ball. Oh man, good night. 
It's going to be it. Two. She touch kicks out. Unbelievable. How did he do that? She touch. She takes over on the apron. It's not where you want to be. Not again. No. Oh man. The second time. Redman gets back up. Are you kidding me? This is great. And just keep it this way. He's leaning them against the announcer's table. Neck breaker now. I've got to get back in the ring and they will be counted out. And for Zitochi it doesn't matter. He's got the championship advantage. Losing via DQ or count out. Will still retain the title whether he loses the match or not. Oh, it's a touch he misses hard. Huge fail. Oh no! Redman now. Oh man! Hit the edge of the announcer's table and it broke. We've got to cling on for dear life now, buddy tackle. This might have cost Redman the match. Put on that edge of the announcer's table, including that two TDTs on the apron. Will he be counted out? He's got to return very fast. And he has. No, Sutoji counters. Oh man. That just might be it. Oh connect. Go we'll go for the cover. Was that going to be it? Two count. Get a sleep hole in on Retman. Will Retman tap? He's fading. The ball is wrong. Let's take a look at the highlights of the matchup. Oh man, look at that. One arm drag. Look at that, the second time the DT on the apron. Cruel. Very, very cruel. And then. Oh man, just look at that. The hip toss put through the announce table. And then the sleeper hold. Because by a pinfall there was no option but got him in that tight lock and out he went. And thus, Emil Sitochi is still your RPW champion. Will he be next on the at RPW destination or no? Check that out as well as Fight Night and our junior show coming up this week. My name has been Joey Blight and for now I wish you a very good night. Good night. Thanks for watching. Good night.